Hello, my name is Mrs. Bumble, and today we're going to be talking about my predictions for Unturned in 2022. I already spoke about this in another video, but my prediction for the first map of Unturned is... Somehow, and I'm not entirely sure how this happened, my last Unturned 2 video is currently on 43 thousand views and two thousand likes don't know how that happened but i would really really appreciate if we could get this video to one thousand likes all right you're gonna have to click the like button or i will shoot you all right you see this dual wielding i'm a scary guy <laughs> so yes i would really appreciate if you click the like button and while you're down there you might as well subscribe and click the bell for more incredible uploads keeping you up to date on the latest and greatest. I've got lots to talk about today because it has been quite a while since my last video talking about this and uh you know, I've got, a lot, I've got a lot to say and I'm curious what you all think. As always, at the end of the video, I like to respond to a bunch of comments with everything I know. Obviously, uh, you know, I don't know everything about Unturn 2, but I definitely have a quite a bit of insider knowledge, if you will. And also, as one little extra thing, if you know how to edit videos and you're interested in a part-time job, there's an application to become my editor down in the description below. I'm trying to upload more frequently and having an editor would help. A lot. So my predictions for Unturn 2 in 2022. Now, quick little side note, I haven't exactly got the greatest track record when it comes to predictions. I mean, I think it was only in my last one. I thought Unturn 2 would be out in 2023 when other people were saying like 2025 and stuff. I tend to be quite optimistic when it comes to this kind of thing. Although my stance on that has changed a little bit in the last few months because it has been about six months since the last major change to un the Unturned 2 beta. Not fantastic to see considering all things, though obviously there was Q8, the new map for Unturned 3, which, um, fantastic map. And there were some other updates, including the sound changes to Unturned 3 and stuff. But we haven't exactly seen progress in, at least, you know, on the public branch version of the Unturned 2 beta. Bit of a shame to see all of this is very, very familiar and it's been like this for quite a while now. I believe I've been playing this version with all of these items and stuff for a good like eight months probably now. So I don't know, it's a little worrying, but I, I, you know, I've got faith that things will keep going. So 2022, you know, six months of already getting there. Time really flies sometimes. I think in 2022, we should start to see some survival features added to Unturned 2. Possibly some more information on the first map. Like in my brain, you know, I'm trying to account for the slower development recently because I don't want to put unrealistic expectations in all of you guys' heads. In an ideal world, you know, the game would be fully out, but I just don't think that's going to happen in 2022, sadly. Although I am holding hope for the uh for like a first map possibly maybe towards the end of 2022 and definitely some more survival features because the game's seriously lacking in a lot of aspects like little simple things like there's no fall damage yet for example and like when you respawn you drop from saturn or something it's uh, it's pretty mad realistically i wouldn't expect massive things happening in 2022 although there were some pretty good updates in 2020 including stuff like the zombies, um, little things like punching, which is still broken, by the way. Little thing, not sure if Nelson's noticed, but in the Unturned 2 beta that I'm playing right now, if I wanted to punch, obviously in Unturned, you can hit one on your keyboard or whatever to unequip your gun. You can't unequip your gun. I think the only way to do it is by dragging it into your inventory and then you can punch. A little bit strange, and it's been like that for quite a while now, so I'm not sure if that's something he's gonna change or if you just can't unequip weapons. Not ideal, especially if you're role-playing and you're pointing a gun at someone, not being able to put away your weapon's not great. There's also no safety when you hit V, uh, although you can hit T to uh, get to this like attachments page, which pretty cool looking page to be honest. Like this is sick and it's much cooler in my opinion when you equip a pistol. Let me just try and spawn that in. Another change in Unturned 2, uh, when you want to enter the chat box, the thing in the top there, you don't hit enter, you hit J for some reason. And then when we go T, you get this very cool view. And then if I was to spawn uh, another pistol, I'm able to obviously dual wield them, which was another thing he added not too long ago. And when you hit T on this, you get this very, very kind of, I don't know, John Wick type thing going on here. Pretty sick. I mean, I like it a lot. But like I say, it's not enough progress, especially this year so far. By that I mean, there's not really been anything. I'm sure he's working on plenty in the back end, but we haven't exactly had a major update in 2021 yet. So who knows? Maybe he's building everything up to drop something really big in 2021. 
or maybe he's saving it all for 2022. Honestly, the only person who knows is Nelson. As for Unturned 3 in 2022, I'm hoping that in 2022, Unturned 3 is kind of getting that, like, it's kind of switching to long-term support only, you know what I mean? Like, he is... Oh. Did not mean to shoot then, so he can truly focus on Unturned 2 development. Because I feel like the reason we haven't got loads of stuff in Unturned 2, especially in 2021, is because of his massive amount of focus in Unturned 3 lately. Uh, so who knows, alright? Who knows? But comment down below, what are your predictions for Unturned 2 in 2022? A lot of your predictions probably won't age very well, including mine. Uh, but you know... I'm, I'm curious to see what you all think. If someone's prediction is perfect, that's going to be quite funny to see. So, you know, go for it. I always like reading your comments, especially on videos like this. In my last video, I talked about the potential for ray tracing and DLSS, which is an upscaling technology made by NVIDIA, in Unturned 2. It was entirely kind of me just predicting things and uh, giving suggestions, although I do think ray tracing would be amazing in a simplistic and honestly very easy to run game like this, so who knows. And in the last few days, AMD announced a technology called Fidelity FX, and then in Fidelity FX, they have that like super resolution, which does a very similar thing to DLSS, in which it just kind of upscales, you know, you can play a game at 4K, but then the game's actually running at like 1080p and upscaling it. Basically, it just means you can run at higher frame rates and it makes the game more smooth which is always good although Nelson hasn't announced anything to do with any of these features even though personally I think it'd be a fantastic kind of demo or use of uh, these sorts of technologies because the game is light to run and very nice to kind of put stuff on top of and I think it's a good application it's like when they added ray tracing to Minecraft uh, like loads of people were talking about it for quite a while so I think it could be a good way to bring a lot of attention to Unturned obviously with it being the only real free game with ray tracing on Steam, anyone with a fancy new NVIDIA card is going to want to come and try out ray tracing in Unturned, so potentially could be a really good move on Nelson's part. And now moving on to my favorite part of videos like this, the Q and A section. I love answering you guys' questions and it gives me a chance to ramble like a madman and not seem insane. That's big brain. And it also gives me a chance to horribly butcher all of your names because my English is atrocious. <laughs> Interlaser says, I think this should be a remaster of PEI in Unturned 2 to kind of start off where we started in Unturned 3.0. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Remasters of maps is something Nelson yet again hasn't mentioned, but I think might be really cool. I wouldn't want to see him remaster every map because we might end up with everyone playing Washington again. And I think personally, I'm ready to mix things up, even though Washington is a fantastic map. It's the best map, all right? Although PEI might be potentially a good first map. I already spoke about this in another video, but my prediction for the first map of Unturned is maybe Canada, but more likely a kind of Stranger Things style town in a northern state. I don't know, I'm not super familiar and clued up with where that might be exactly, but from what Nelson has said throughout interviews, blog posts, etc., that's kind of where it's looking like it'll be. He has literally specifically said Stranger Things style map a few times, so that could be really cool. I can kind of pitch it in my head and it'll definitely fit the game, so I'm very excited for that. Not gonna lie, on turn 2 is gonna be really good. When it's fully released, I can think of endless possibilities we can do. Very true, derp, over there. Like, the potential for things we can do in a turn 2 is huge. I say this in every single one of these videos, but I like to throw these comments in here because, you know, we're excited, right? Might as well. And turn two would probably be pre-alpha for testing around the middle of 2021 if Nelson gets the hang of Unreal Engine, but it would fully release, I'm guessing, around early middle of 2022. Now, that is a prediction right there. He's expecting a full release early middle of 2022. I think that's a little bit ambitious. I mean, I wish I could agree with you. Uh, I mean, this, this game is like the only game I really want to come out. Like, you know, there's GTA 6 and then there's Unturned 2, far above it. I really want to see individual animations when you consume food and drink or when you bandage yourself, etc. Kind of like Escape from Tarkov. I know it's a lot of extra work, but it would really add to the immersion. I couldn't agree more. I think out of every game I've ever played, the one with the best immersive animations, I haven't actually played Escape from Tarkov. I think the best animations has to go to Red Dead Redemption 2. And the animations do help a lot more than I expected. Like the fact that he picks things up from the shelves instead of going into like a menu like Skyrim, for example, it really adds to it and kind of stacks everything on top of each other. And especially for roleplay and 
cinematics and movies and stuff having all these little animations like not not tons of them but just having little animations is pretty fantastic i'll die just please nelson tell us a release date i i don't know why i threw this in here it's just because you know i feel the same all right but he can't all right realistically he can't give us a release date um there's so many complications and things that could pop up so it's not nelson just trying to i don't know bully us or anything he's just generally he can't give us a release date and also he might kind of take breaks from Unturned 2 development to go work on 3 again. So it's very, very unpredictable. I wish I could be more substantial and I can't wait until I can actually say a release date. Would be fantastic, but for now, not really anything I can do. And I threw this comment in here just because I thought it was quite fun. We need to get Unturned onto PewDiePie's Luai. Sure. <laughs> uh, why not? Okay, let's, let's get Unturned on PewDiePie's channel. It's funny because in my last video, I made a joke about uh, PewDiePie making an Unturned 2 video. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Absolutely love making these videos and having a little Q&A with you all. It's great fun. Love doing it. And if you haven't already, then subscribe on the left of your screen. Just click the little circle and then click the subscribe button and click one of these two lovely videos on the screen now. There's an incredible video at the top right or an even better one at the bottom right. You know, you've got to make the choice. It's a tricky choice, but you got to pick one, all right? I'll see you in the next video.